السلام علیکم ایوری ون انفارمیشن باکس ٹکٹ لائف اسٹائل بایو ٹیکنالوجی یونٹ ون انٹروڈکشن ٹو بایو ٹیکنالوجی واٹ از بایو ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ ہاؤ ڈز اٹ ورک کال ارکی یوز دا ٹرم بایو ٹیکنالوجی ان نائنٹین نائنٹین ٹو ڈسکرائب دا اوور آل پروسیس آف ٹرننگ را مٹیریل ان ٹو یوز فل گڈس بایو ٹیکنالوجی از ڈسکرائبڈ ایز دا یوز آف لائف کریچرز سیلز اور سیلولر کمپوننٹس فار دا مینوفیکچر آف کیمیکلز اور ایگزیکٹ جینیٹک ماڈیفیکیشن آف لیونگ تھنگس فار دا بینیفٹ آف مین ان اے مور جینرک سینس بایو ٹیکنالوجی مے بی کلاسیفائڈ ان ٹو تھری اسٹیجز اور کیٹیگریز نمبر ون بایو ٹیکنالوجی فرام دا پاسٹ پری ایٹیز نمبر ٹو بایو ٹیکنالوجی ایز اٹ از نون ٹو ڈے فرام ایٹی زیرو زیرو ٹو آلموسٹ دا مڈل آف دا ٹوینٹی ایتھ سینچری نمبر تھری بایو ٹیکنالوجی آف دا پریزنٹ ٹل ڈیٹ کلاسیکل بایو ٹیکنالوجی بفور دا ٹوینٹی ایتھ سینچری دا ورلڈ بایو ٹیکنالوجی واز یوز ٹو ڈسکرائب ٹریڈیشنل ایکٹیویٹیز سچ ایز دا پروڈکشن آف ڈیری پروڈکٹس سچ ایز چیز کرڈ بریڈ وائن اینڈ بیئر None of these, however, can be classified as biotechnology in contemporary sense. Similarly, genetic modification of species by selective breeding, plant cloning through grafting, and other forms of biotechnology are not included. Classical biotechnology or traditional biotechnology refers to the fermentation process used to prepare and manufacture items such as alcohol, beer, wine, dairy products and other forms of organic acids such as vinegar, citric acid, amino acids and vitamins. Modern Biotechnology In the use of live organisms, modern biotechnology is comparable to classical biotechnology. It is not modern in the sense of using various living organisms but rather in the techniques for doing so. The technological exposure of the 20th century in various branches of science such as physics, chemistry, engineering, computer science and information technology revolutionized the development of life sciences, leading to the evolution of modern biotechnology. In addition, to bioprocess technology modern biotechnology is primarily dependent on recombinant dna and hydrodroma technology recombinant dna technology the main tool for creating genetically modified organism is our dna technology in reality recombinant human insulin was developed and sold in united states in 1982 making the start of contemporary biotechnology. The endeavor that led to this historical occurrence began in the early 1970s when researchers devised method for creating vectors by cutting out and pasting bits of DNA together to generate a new piece of DNA, recombinant DNA, that could be introduced into the E. coli bacteria. Hybridoma technology Hybridoma technology is a technology that combines the best of both worlds. In 1975, the first hybridoma were produced. A B lymphocyte that secretes an antibody against a particular antigen is united with myeloma cell in hybridoma technology. If injected into a mouse abdomen, or grown in a bioreactor using bioprocess technology the resultant cancerous b lymphocyte cell will grow and divide endlessly generating vast quantity of antibody which may be collected monoclonal antibody mab are the proteins that result and they are commonly seen in diagnostic tests as you can as see you can in this see- figure the steps of hybridoma technology Bioprocess Engineering Bioprocess technology is a sub-discipline of biotechnology that involves combining living materials such as organism or enzymes which nutrients under specified optimum circumstances to produce a desired product. 
Bioprocess technology in fermentation may be used to produce large amounts of proteins and enzymes on a large scale. The following are examples of bioprocess technology. Preparation of media and buffer. Upstream and downstream processing are two different types of processing. Upstream processing offers the medium, substrate and chemical environment for the microorganism to carry out the biochemical processes necessary to generate the product. The separation procedure for harvesting the purified product from the fermentation medium is known as downstream processing. As a result, fermentation technology evolved into biotechnology, which is today referred to as traditional biotechnology. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Biotechnology has gained a new branch as a result of incorporation of information technology and the internet. Bioinformatic and computational biology are two fields of study. Historical perspective. Biotechnology is relatively recent science approximately 200 years, yet it is a very old technology. The term biotechnology was originally used in 1990s to describe a large-scale fermentation process for the manufacture of industrial chemicals. Biotechnology may be traced back to prehistorical civilization such as Egyptian and Indus Valley civilization, when man first began to farm and domesticate animals. They had learned to perform biotechnology even before they were aware of the presence of microbes. Ancient Civilization and Biotechnology Primitive man became domesticative enough to breed plants and animals, manufacture bread, wine and beer as well as a variety of fermented foods such as yogurt and cheese and develop vaccination to protect themselves against illnesses. Archaeologists continue to uncover older evidence of man's usage of microbes. Most of these processes have been documented since 5000 BC. Fermented foods, drink and medications were made and used by ancient Indus people. As early as 4000 BC, the Egyptian Sumerians employed yeast to make wine and bake bread. Bacteria were employed in Mesopotamia to turn wine into vinegar. Crop rotation was used by ancient Greeks to enhance crop output by using microscopic creatures that reside in the ground. Drying, smoking, curing, salting and other methods of food preservation were also utilized by the Greeks. Mummification in Egypt was accomplished by the application of a salt combination to dehydrate the body. Fermentation and Microorganisms When Dutch experimentalist Anton Leeuwenhoek discovered microbes using his microscope in the 17th century, he produced clues to understanding fermentation. Using analytic techniques for carbon dioxide measurement, he deduced the chemical foundation of the fermentation procedure. Louis Pasteur, a French scientist, produced the first study on the production of lactic acid from sugar via fermentation in 1857. Later in 1860, he released a throw study on alcohol fermentation. He demonstrated in this study that fermentation is a result of anaerobic life. Edward Bechner observed the production of ethanol and carbon dioxide when cell-free yeast extract was introduced to an aqueous solution of sugar near the end of the 19th century. He demonstrated that cells are not required for fermentation process and that active ingredients are dissolved in the extract. Zymes was the name he gave to that drug. During World War I, the fermentation process was adopted in Germany to create glycerine for the explosive nitroglycerine. Literary armaments projects also found new technologies in the food and chemical sectors which helped them win battles throughout World War I. 
For example, they made explosive cordite using microorganisms that convert maize or molasses to acetone. While biotechnology assisted in killing of the troops, it also assisted in the healing of those same soldiers. The first antibiotic, penicillin, was discovered in 1928 by Sir Alexander Fleming's and proved to be extremely effective in treating injured troops. Genetic Beginnings When Gerger John Mendel published his results as the rule of genetics in 1906, biotechnology made a huge lap ahead. He anticipated the existence of units of heredity, later dubbed genes, that remained the same from generation to generation. It was formerly thought that each gene corresponded to a distinct characteristic. Genetics was assisting plant breeders in improving their crops by the 1920s. Genetics revolutionized agriculture by 1940s, paving the way for the green evolution in 1960s. The origin of modern biotechnology, DNA and genetic engineering. In 1953, Francis Crick and James Watson, together with Rosalind Franklin, determined that the DNA structure was a double helix, revolutionizing the field of genetics. DNA is nearly the same in structure, function, and content in all living creatures. The precise arrangement of the chemical bases in the DNA molecule is what distinguishes and distinguishes each organism. This gave scientists the idea that they might alter the ordering of life forms by doing so. Soon after, scientists and manufacturers began transferring particular genes from one creature to another, altering the genetic makeup of living organisms. Tech, a biotech firm based in the United States, was the first to discover methods to rearrange DNA in 1976. In 1982, the first recombinant human medical protein, insulin, humulin, was created as well as monoclonal antibodies for diagnostic purposes. To investigate cancer, transgenic animals were produced such as the unlucky Onco mouse, which was intended to get cancer 10 months after birth. Approximately 600 pharmaceuticals Firms across the world are working on genetically modified products. Companies were inspired to do research after the United States Supreme Court permitted genetically modified microbes to be patented in 1980s. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Because of the increasing demand for different compounds such as ethanol, butanol, glycerin, acetone and other chemicals in the 19th century, companies related to fermentation technology grew significantly. The progress of fermentation technology as a result of its interaction with chemical engineering has spawned a new field known as bioprocess technology. Scopes and Importance of Biotechnology Biotechnology has enabled life scientists to develop new drugs, new diagnostic techniques, vaccines, food products, cosmetics, industrial useful chemicals, genetically altered crops, plants, which can resist the stress of pests, diseases and environmental extremes, new tools and techniques to extend the studies on genomics and proteomics of all organisms and to solve environmental problems. Protease, amylase, lipase, glucose isomerase, invertase and other industrial essential enzymes are produced on the massive scale using recombinant microbes, plant cells and animal cells. Amylase is a protein that is utilized in the starch business. The enzyme glucose isomerase is involved in the production of fructose from the glucose syrup. Proteases and lipases are used in detergents to help remove stains. Protease is also used to remove hair and soften meat and leather in the meat and leather industries. Recombinant E. coli has also been used to make a variety of different proteins for human and vegetarian medicines, vaccinations and diagnostics. More than 200 additional human therapy, 
more than 200 additional human therapeutic and vaccine proteins are now being tested in clinical trials. Cancer, AIDS, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, herpes, rheumatoid arthritis, and viral illnesses are among disorders being researched. Areas, areas in, biotechnology. in biotechnology. Due to the application to of, applications of biotechnology in various fields, in various of, science, fields of science, it is divided into, is four divided into following areas. Agriculture biotechnology, medical or pharmaceutical biotechnology, industrial biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, plant biotechnology, animal biotechnology, and genetic engineering, etc. The future of this integrating new subject of contemporary biotechnology is impossible to predict. There is no question that it has the potential to improve human lives and the global economy. However, advances in the life sciences and biotechnology research and development has resulted in the slow of societal, environmental and ethical issues. Several groups are investigating a variety of topics and addressing common concerns. Biotechnology has taken us to a point of comfort, but where will it lead us to next? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button for more videos. Thank you.